Today on the Right Now Show, I'm really excited to introduce you all to a new friend of mine. This is Gaetana. Hi. You know, quite honestly, this is not just a setup. Okay. I've, I've had a hard couple of weeks. There was like some, some sad, even tragic things that swirled around me for the past couple of weeks. It's been, yeah. it's been tough. Yeah. A couple of heavies landed on my, on my psyche. In times like that, I think yeah. it's important to know who you can turn to for a little positive uplift. And that's why Ooh. today I want to introduce a new segment on the Right Now Show. This is called Positive Vibin' with Gaetana. <gasps> me! Welcome, Gaetana. <laughs> Thank you for having me on the show. Um, the, from the moment I met you, I just felt like you had this presence, this levity, this oh. comfort in being yourself, this Thanks. feeling like... You were always going to now. People who know me know I'm like an eternal optimist, you yeah. know. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sitting here all sad or anything like that. But you know, always looking on the bright side. Always like to crack a joke, whatever. But you take the bright side, and I feel like you filter it through this lens that spreads it out around everyone <laughs> around you. And I want to learn really nice. about what's what, how that <laughs> works out in life for you. What you know, what's going on in the in the mind of Gaetana? So maybe just tell Ooh. us a little bit about. Let's start with, like, tell us a little bit about yourself and your life. Uh, what you do, what you like, what you, what you love, yeah. who you live with. As you know, I was a musician for a long time. And so I used to be very, like, afraid. I would sit. I wouldn't look up. I would keep my eyes closed oh. and hold my guitar really tight. And then after about, like, uh, I don't know, six, seven years of that, um, now I can, like, get on the mic, look straight in people's eyes, okay. you know, act like a maniac. Right. And um, so that's really a big part of what helped me open up in terms of being more willing to, I don't know, I guess stand in myself. Okay. Or my truths as a person. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I live with a really rockin' drummer husband who's, he's pretty awesome. His name is James, and I have a really adorable toddler named Leo. Great. And I will say that um, he's a big bright spot. <laughs> the older I get, you know, and the more cynicism comes into my life, the more watching children and the wonder that they get to experience, it just reminds me of the simple things in life, I guess. Do you have any, like, I don't know, tools or... Um, like little mental exercises or anything that you do to help kind of, you know, reframe, like, you know, uh, when we get frustrated or when we're irritated or yes. when we are uh, feeling anxious, you know, what kinds of tools do you use? So the first tool that I really use every single day is my focus is to stay in the day. So one of the things I learned as a musician, because I, I don't have stage fright, but I always got nervous before I went on stage, no matter how many shows. I mean, mm. I played literally thousands of shows, mm. and I was still nervous. So my thing was having a routine to yeah. direct my focus. So I always had, like, the same warm-up routine. Got it. So I apply the same thing in my daily life, because... Uh. The world is like, not that I'm always nervous, but the world is just, I never know what's going to get thrown my way. So in order to kind of release my expectations and stay in the day, I usually wake up, I sit with my coffee, you know, I just let myself come down and I just think about my day, like mm. what's happening today, what's on the docket, where am I heading, okay, and then I just turn it over to whatever's out there and just see what happens. And so do you do this before your family is up, let's say? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you get up early I, to, to spend this time by yourself. Yeah, because I, you know, with a toddler, it's kind of like <laughs> once the cute little beast is up, it's over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know? The second tool I use to do that is, like, I'll just look up a five-minute mindfulness meditation. Like, sometimes I'll set a timer on my phone, just focus on my breathing, because especially with breath, um, it helps us calm like our vagus nerve, which there's tons and tons of studies coming out okay. now of the importance of that. What is that vagus nerve? So the vagus nerve is, so they've been studying the nervous system, all these scientists, and what they're discovering is the vagus nerve is what triggers like our fight, flight, or freeze. Okay. And oftentimes in modern society, our bodies respond that way to things that, you know, it's not a lion chasing after us, right? But it's like, oh, our deadline got moved up to right. 10 minutes from now. Right. And so our bodies are coming from this primal place and the vagus nerve reacts and it gets okay. super stimulated and it's like do something now so 
breathing and like focusing down on it actually starts to, it's for whatever reason, and they've scientifically proven it, if you breathe in for like four, hold it for four and breathe out for eight. So as long as you breathe in shorter than you breathe out, so okay. let a long out, um, it'll actually bring down the cortisol in your body, bring down your vagus oh. nerve and calm your nervous system. Oh. So you can think clearly because when your vagus nerve is, tri is triggered, when your vagus nerve is triggered, it's really difficult to think logically because uh -huh. your body is panicked like a lion's running after you. So that's why I use the mindfulness okay. meditation because it gives me daily practice because you know I'm a musician so I love to practice. Okay. It gives me a daily practice to learn how to identify when my vagus nerve is like out of whack and like calm it down. So the other tool that um, is really important to me that I actually am really excited about is I like to participate in causes that I care about okay. because you know, there's a lot of things that worry me in the world, right? Or things that I care about that I feel like I have, I'm totally powerless over. So the one way I feel like I can make a difference is by participating. And even if it's a small way, whether it's like hearing someone out that maybe I feel like isn't heard enough uh. or doing something for someone. So one thing that we do have here our employee resource groups, which when I was working remotely, I signed up with immediately. Okay. I love it. I'm in the pride group and I'm in established in the diversity uh -huh. committee. And so the company really cares a lot about what we do and think and how that's going to direct our culture as a company, which I really value a mm. lot. But also we get to participate in other exciting things like the Cal and Lord 5K or 10K, which P.S. I am not a runner, but I okay. want to be. Oh, like I'm a walker. I'm an avid walker. Okay. But with the toddler thing, I need to do twice the amount of exercise and half the amount of time. So like sure. running is very exciting. Sure. And so that's something I'm going to be doing. So that's like my little fo focus. It's my little carrot at the end of the, Got um, it. you know, rough life stuff stick. Got it. So. <laughs> so how does that relate to your feel to, to you your, your positivity how does participating in i mean i for me that's clear it's like yeah first of all you're going outside for in the fresh air yes healthy and and uplifting positive decision you're exercising yeah. which is hard <laughs> to find um any scientific studies that say that's bad for you Truth. and then <laughs> um contributing to a cause which is going to help others um and and that's uh you know uh like a, a little small miracle that you can perform. I mean, I feel like, I feel like the thing that I get from it is just feeling forward progress. Cause mm. I think sometimes as that, like, as I was saying in the beginning, like being an eternal pessimist, it's like, sometimes I can get kind of hopeless about things like, mm. Oh, it's never going to change. Look at all this work. Look at all. I mean, you know, I'm very passionate in the work I do. I write a lot of letters to people that live in Washington, D.C. <laughs> and, you know, it's... Um, How's that going? Yeah, it's a lot of writing. I'm gonna yeah, do you get a lot back? <laughs> actually, I do. Oh. I do. I actually recently, in the town of Marlboro, I contacted the mayor's office and the town council because Massachusetts has a... The DCN does something where you can plant more trees in your town. Mm. And so I contacted them and I put it all together and I sent it along and they called me. Amazing. The next Next day it was Amazing. great I, I, so, I, love, I appreciate that level of initiative <laughs> well I want to make a good world for the people who are here now and and my kiddo and you know I'm just one human that's all sure but like when I get to participate in something like the rainbow run where I have loved ones that are part of that that was probably really loud Sorry. I have loved ones that are part of the LGBT Q plus community. I'm part of it. Right. And, you know, I get to just be out and I get to be seen and I get to show love for people that I love in this really, really tangible way, which right. I don't know if it's an artist, but like, who doesn't love finger painting, you right. know? And finger painting is this tactile experience. And at the end, you just have a painting, but you did something. And sure. so for me, completing that task around something I'm really passionate about around something that can be really painful and heavy, it makes me feel that progress. Mm. And that's kind of what pulls me out of the funk a little bit. Like I did what I could do, even if it isn't huge, it's, you know, the macro micro, like we're just a little human on a giant earth and a big universe spinning black holes around us. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, there's also the 
protons and neurons inside of an atom that make up everything. Sure. So it's like, to me, it's like, that's like a like, little like proton neutron. Like maybe no one will see it. Got maybe it. a couple of electrons will see it going around, Got you know, it. but. But if you toss a couple of protons exactly, out there. Exactly. Yeah, keep the, it rolling, the, you know. Right. You've, you've, you've tipped the scales of the world, <laughs> at least for that one afternoon. We have the, tipped to, the scales. We. Yeah. we. Sure. That's the big, that's another part. Community is really important to me. Because uh, the eternal pessimists, we think we're always alone, which is BS. Okay. I'm not alone. There's a lot of us, you know. Right. So, the, so that part of it helps me, too, feeling a yeah. part of big way. Yeah, big way. Well, um, I want to thank you so much for taking time to uh, <laughs> hang out and that. talk to me. Thanks I'm for really grateful me. that you've come into my life in the last <laughs> year. I think you're a really special person. Thank you. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really uh, take the time. I'm gonna look for like those five minutes to spend that time Aww. with myself in the, in the next, you know, well, couple weeks. I'm gonna come over to that office and see if you found it. Okay. Because that Please would be cool. Me. Please check on me. That I won't mind cool. at all. Maybe someday we could do one together. We could just, we could just have a quiet video where we're all just sitting here with our eyes closed, you know, breathing in for five minutes. Well, let's have you on next time and you can okay. lead us through that. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Gaetana Gray, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in.